In the tranquil surroundings of Johannes Kepler University in Linz, technologists are immersing themselves in a torrent of water, flooding a valley in faraway Slovakia. The scenario has been created in computers that has integrated large amounts of data and then constructed a three-dimensional virtual demonstration. The work is part of CrossGrid. When floods happen, the emergency authorities urgently need to know where the water is going to go. This helps them understand who should be evacuated and where they should set up their emergency support resources. Prediction has become a complex task given the speed with which floods can develop. The CrossGrid project is pioneering a new approach. So today, a big challenge is uh, in this uh, very fast or very quick uh, time to predict uh, river floods. River floods uh, belong to very, very dangerous uh, natural disaster, which cause a lot of damage after them and also connected with pollution. pollution uh, water pollution, water pollution after after this uh, flood. Uh, to predict them in reasonable time, we need a uh, very powerful computing environment to to compute uh, this all this prediction more or less in near real time. So for the prediction purposes, we need uh, data from satellite, data from radars, uh, data from the uh, surface meteorological and hydrological stations which prove some uh, real situation on concrete place and with this data we must this data we are using for this prediction models and this data we are using also for calibration of these models for the um, this computing environment uh, com computing environment must be very powerful and uh, grid technology is promising technology for that the bad thing about the grid regarding the, the flood is that uh, you have access to the uh, big power provided by a lot of computers connected to the grid network. So uh, you don't have uh, to use just the one supercomputer or cluster that you have uh, at the institute. We have several applications, the metallurgy, hydrology, hydraulics, uh, each of these uh, has uh, some requirements, so uh, we have to wrap it and uh, specify some uh, parameters that are required and we uh, submit uh, this, this package to the grid to be processed. Okay, we, we just don't have to care where it runs, we just say, okay grid, compute this, and we get the results back. And that's the great. One of the challenges posed by flooding is the speed that it can happen. CrossGrid is using the large storage capability of their grid to store hundreds of prediction scenarios. For example, we can compute uh, different scenarios for uh, 25, 50, uh, 100, 200, 500 or more thousand written period water and this scenario we can compute and in and to save in the storage and when some things happen for example flash floods uh, this uh, mayor of uh, city or village can have a look on this scenario immediately only only download from from the storage the local flood crisis management team or the meteorologist, or the local officials are not concerned with how the grid works. They need to understand what the flood is going to be like. So the cross-grid technologists have come to Linz to the university's virtual reality department to create a visualization of the flood that you can stand inside. It allows the user to really get into the, um, to really get into the virtual reality uh, scene, to get into the environment. So. Um, for this uh, flooding simulation, you get um, the impression that you really stand um, in, the, um, in the scene, in the scenario. So you don't have to think about abstract figures. Uh, you're in the actual flooded area. You feel like you're there. CrossGrid believes that there are two important areas of their work that also need to be developed. 
The first is to ensure that the huge investment made by the European Commission and others creates products and services that are commercially sustainable. I am convinced that these products could be commercialized. Many river authorities exist and each of these river authorities will need such software. Cities also will need such software. So I think that many, many customers exist. This is on the international collaboration that will become vital in the management of floods. Many rivers in Europe cross borders and international teams need to create grids for specific rivers like a Danube grid. For example, so if something's happened in Germany, in some large, uh, f large rainfall occurred, therefore we must predict what happened in Bratislava, for example. Grid technology will allow to run different models and to compare results of the different models and to predict what happened in Budapest or other cities which are uh, lying close to the New River. It is very important information. Crossgrid has also looked at the potential of applying this technology to forest fires and predicting the actions of fires in large buildings. In all of these scenarios, the developers are pioneering a use of grid technology in a very practical way to save millions of pounds in damage and environmental pollution. As Europe forms its collaborative networks, we can feel safer in the knowledge that the grid is predicting the future and maybe even saving lives.